Hey everybody, if you're like me, you try to rank a ton of videos. And just like me, you probably often get confused. Did I remember to backlink that video? Did I ping it? Did I ping the links? Hmm. Tough to remember all these things. And of course, writing them down on notes and leaving notes everywhere and notebooks and everything just doesn't quite cut it. So what I've got for you today is an awesome new piece of software that will take your skills at ranking a video and take you step by step logging your progress the entire way and helping you to easily do some of the things that are a little bit more of a pain in the neck to do. It's not automation, but it's awesome. Okay, so here we are inside of Tube Ranking Software version 2.0 and I want to show you how this works because it's actually very, very cool. Uh, you can see here I've already got a video that's been put into the system here, but I'm going to show you how you add a second one here or a third one in this case. So let's say I wanted to do one based on my uh, how to delete a YouTube account. You'd add that in there and you'd hit create. And you can see it'll create a new one here. It'll already have our keyword here, how to delete a YouTube account. The title, how to delete a YouTube account. Now what we have to do is put the YouTube URL. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy our URL and we're gonna paste it in here. Okay, and now what we got here is you got the ability to add a description or you can generate a description. Now what will happen is if you generate a description, it's going to use this file right here, the description template. And if we open this up, you can see there's a few different uh, types of templates in here that say a few different things. They're very generic. And if you wanted to uh, change any of this, you can do that. You can actually go in here and change this and it'll base its uh, generated text based on that. So if we hit generate, you can see how to delete a YouTube account, despite what you may think, how to delete a YouTube account is well known across hundreds of nations, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's, you know, very generic stuff. Uh, personally, I don't use it. I've already got a description inside of YouTube. But uh, if you wanted to create some that were, um, you know, a little bit better, you can actually do that, you know, especially if they're more specific to you there. And then you can generate anything you want at that point in time. But I'm going to grab what we already have right in here. Copy that. And that should fit in there. There we go. So now we've got that paragraph in there. That's good. And then for tags, again, you can generate tags here. So if we do this, just give it a few seconds. All right. Well, it didn't pull any up this time. Usually it actually will pull up some tags there, but that's okay. We'll put up uh, our own tags here. Usually it does a decent job of uh, pulling up tags um, that are fairly relevant, but maybe in this case there's just not a lot out there to really uh, do that with. So we're just going to put our own in here. Okay, once we have those in there, we're just going to hit save. Now you can see up here we've got a red box here, and what this is, this means that we haven't done enough for this to be um, a go yet, so we haven't done a lot of work here. You can see our progress bar has moved up just a little bit because we've added this in here. But now you can see across the top here, we've got a whole bunch of options, ping, backlinks, social, uh, ratings, extras, and to-dos. And basically what we're going to do is go through each of these very, very quickly. I don't want to hold you guys up for too long. Uh, but we're going to ping this here. Okay, so there you go. You see it's now been pinged to 69 out of 69 pinging services there. So we're doing pretty good. And once again, we're going to hit save. And now if we go back to our summary, boom, you'll see it's moved up just a little bit more. Now I'm not going to sit here and go through each and every one of these with you guys because it's going to take uh, a little while to do all of these different things. So I want to show you one that I just was working on a few minutes ago. You can see this one's already green. You can see we've pinged it. Now that we've got a backlink section. Now in this one here, you can actually uh, use one hour backlinks and put how many you've got in here. The basic idea behind this program is not to necessarily automate everything, but to keep track of what you've done with each video. So in this case here, for this apartments in Tucson, if we do uh, bulk backlinks through one hour backlinks, we can put how many in here and hit yes. If we do wiki backlinks, which in this case we did wiki robot, so I didn't use Fiverr, so I can hit yes. And then EDU and government backlinks, if I wanted to do that through Fiverr, we can do that and we can hit yes. If you don't plan on doing that, you can hit not necessary. And in this case, it's not going to be necessary. So we're going to save that the way it is there. 
and you can see we've also got here and this is actually a very interesting um, piece of this that I do want to show you this is video backlinks and matter of fact I'm gonna go back to our other account here and I'm gonna go to video backlinks here because I want to show you how this works what this basically will do is it's gonna take our keyword how to delete a YouTube account okay and when we hit start it's gonna search through YouTube and find actually it's gonna search through Google find the top rated videos and paste them in here and it'll take just a second and once it does I'll show you why this is really cool okay you can see that it's added a whole bunch of videos here how to delete a YouTube account 2013 these are all the ones that we saw in that first page of Google there or on YouTube rather so what you can do is first of all I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna copy our URL here make sure we have that in here now what you can do is you can go to each of these videos and the idea is to get your video to be uh, put into the video responses. Now, obviously, he's already got two video responses here, so we're not going to be able to do it there. That's fine. We'll go to the next one. Pop that one open. Let's take a look and see if we've got video responses here. And it looks like we do not. And now we can actually attempt to make this a response to his video since he doesn't have any. So if we go to the comments hit create a video response and then we just have to choose our video which is how to delete a YouTube video which we'll just have to find in this mess here there it is how to delete a YouTube channel I'm gonna use that okay we've successfully completed your video response let's return to the original video and we'll see if alright well we're lucky here because it looks like uh, he's got it set to automatic so now we're done we've uh, been able to in two shots here find a video that makes sense to put a response to and we put the response and it worked so now we can save this and if we go back to our summary you'll see our progress bar is moving up just a little bit more okay so that's a just a very very cool uh option in there just because you can you know find these videos very simply and respond and just keep trying until you find one that works Okay, so the next thing we want to check out here is let's go back to our backlinks. We're going to do PR backlinks or uh, bookmarking rather. So this is where you can just click on each of these and, and add your video to that. So you can see we've done that already. You can see it takes you right to dig. Put in your URL, submit, and you're done. Once you're done, of course, hit save. Okay, so the next one is social. And in here we've got Facebook backlinks, Google Plus, and retweets. And this is actually something that's another feature in here that is very, very interesting. What this does is this allows you to submit, basically create a backlink on these websites to your video, or in this case, to your Facebook page that has your video. So what I've done is I've created a Facebook page with our video of the apartment in Tucson. And then what we do here is we do a start and it'll pull up a bunch of things that are in some way related to Tucson or apartments and so things of that nature. So, for instance, here, uh, let's find one here. Go-kart collision. Okay, drugs, gang, violence in Tucson. So let's click on that. And you can see it pops up an article here that allows us to leave a comment using Facebook. And so what we want to do with this is we want to go, you can see we're logged in as Facebook. We're going to hit change. We're going to choose video showcase, which has our video on it. And so now we can leave a relevant comment and just say, wow, some areas of Tucson are tough. So now when we hit comment, we've just created kind of a little mini link wheel here where uh, video showcase, if we click on that, that links us to the Facebook page. And on the Facebook page, when it finishes loading, is our video. See, there's our video our, right here. So now we've built a backlink to our page here with our video in here. So very cool stuff. Just a mini link wheel that you can do automatically. And it's very easy to do this. You can do this over and over and over again and just keep building, 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 building. So it's very, very slick. Same thing with Google+. Plus. Uh, unfortunately, with uh, our particular keyword, we're finding mostly um, Google+, Plus local stuff. But we did find this one here. And we were able to leave a, a, a message here. Now, what I did, if you notice here, it looks like it just says, great for anyone looking for apartments in Tucson for rent near University of Arizona. Well, 
Apartments in Tucson for Rent Near University of Arizona is the title of our video. And so that's clickable and leads right to the video. So we've created a backlink. But of course, unless you click on that or you hover over it, it just looks like a comment, which is very cool. So literally, you would just type in, in our case here, you know, th this is our how to delete a, a YouTube channel video. So uh, <laughs> we'll just make up something stupid here. We won't actually save it. But, but uh, great for anyone that needs to know and then we would go and we would paste our how to delete a youtube video so we could paste it like this you can see it just pastes the link but when we hit post comment it now says great for anyone who needs to know how to delete a youtube channel okay so that's just one way to do it we're actually going to delete that account that, that uh, comment because it's uh that's kind of spammy so we'll leave that one out of there but basically the idea is you find things that make sense and you're able to post things and uh, link directly to your video inside of google plus very very powerful and uh you know in many cases we can do that over and over again okay so the next thing we want to take a look at is our retweets and what you want to do is you'll put your Twitter account in here. You'll want to go to Twitter and post about your video. And uh, this is the link that you want to have for retweeting. And then what you can use is you can use any of these services here. You can use Fiverr or Twitter backlinks and just let them know that you did it. In this case, you know, we did, uh, oh, we got 10, 10 retweets out of this. You know, something of that nature. And uh, that just allows you to... Uh, keep track of how many retweets you did and you can follow your rankings so let's go to ratings and in ratings we've got all of our views and likes and subscriptions and favorites and comments and you can put in how many you've done so for instance in this case on yt nuke i sent 10,000 uh views to this particular video vagex i didn't mturk i didn't none of these so that's fine and then, of course, on here, uh, views, this is how many views, this is how many likes, etc., etc., and it just keeps track of all these things so you can watch the progress of it. And then under extras, now this is something that uh, they've kept in there. This used to be very powerful, uh, not really as necessary as it used to be, but if you wanted to do uh, a lot of playlists, you can keep those in here. And, of course, if you're doing link wheels, which is where you upload various videos that point to each other you can actually you know put uh this video link which led to the account and this video link which led to video one and this video link which led to le video two which led to video one which led to the account etc so you can still do that kind of stuff i haven't done that with this video at least not yet but um, that's one of the other tools that's in here and then of course we have a, a checklist at the end here which is our on-site and off-site to-do list and our on-site list here uh, you know, is title using the main keyword? Yes, we did that. Description using the main keyword? Yes. Tags? Yes. Video responses? Yes, we've done that. Comments? How many? Uh, you know, we've got, uh, we'll just say 10 comments or so. I'm not sure how many are on that one. Transcriptions, captions done? Yes. And then you can hit save. And then uh, on the off site, this keeps track of all the things you've done. So we did, we pinged it. Yes. Uh, backlinks. We have 900 of them from uh, wiki robot video backlinks we've got the one social bookmarking we've got 42 facebook backlinks we did three of them for that one we did two on google plus retweets we've got uh actually we've got 10 now i said one at the time but we've actually got 10 now okay and it's going to tell you no on some of these things if you didn't do it automatically so even if we tell this thing yes you know it knows we didn't you know the playlist section is empty so it's not going to show that uh, basically this just keeps track of all the different things that you've done and of course in the end when we head back to our summary you can see that we've done most of the things so it's green so this is going to be very helpful to this particular video because we've done all this work and of course at any time when we come back here we can check our rankings and it's going to tell us it's not in the top 10 yet it's not on the first page but uh, we've got everything set up there and uh, you know this is just a very very cool software not only to keep track of everything that you've done but also just a really easy way when you get into doing the video backlinks to be able to uh, instantly get to a video that you can put your your video as a response on it and the social stuff with the facebook backlinks and the google plus uh, backlinks is just huge and like i said with this you can just keep doing this all day long 
well, maybe not all day long, with a lot of different things. So overall, this software is fantastic because I know when I do video ranking, especially when I do it for clients instead of just myself, it can get very confusing very fast. What's been done, what hasn't been done, what needs to be done. And this just uh, allows me to really keep track of everything that I've done, make sure that I do all the things I'm supposed to. And, uh, you know, it allows us to track how we're doing. So if you're doing any sort of video ranking, this software can really help you keep track of exactly what you're doing and, you know, uh, works hand in hand with any of the uh, really good video ranking techniques that you've picked up over the last uh, little while. So, for instance, Rocket Video Ranker that uh, we talked about a, a week ago or so, um, you know, all the things that you do in there, you can kind of keep track of in here and make sure that they get done. So it's it, a very good software, very helpful. And if you're looking for it, be sure to check it out, raythevideoguide.com slash tube ranking software.